Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Today I'm going to give you three tips for more productive brainstorming for writers. Brainstorming is the most helpful when you start a new project and you have ideas, but you might just have a fragment of one idea that's not really enough for a whole story. So you want to sit down and brainstorm. Let that idea take you to other ideas, flesh out your story and get to a place where you have enough to start the project. So the first tip is to follow your passion. That means if you're really obsessed with something like let's say you are really drawn to Scotland and you want to write a story that takes place in Scotland. Well don't shy away from that. I mean sometimes people are going to say oh well I probably shouldn't write about this or that because of this or that reason. Don't worry about any of that at this stage. If you're really passionate about something, if you're really obsessed with something, if you can't stop thinking about something, that's a clue that it's probably something that you want to write about. Because when an author is really passionate about something, that comes across in her writing. So let's say you start with a passion of yours if you're really passionate about, I don't know, soccer. And then you can think about, well, why am I passionate about soccer? What is it that interests me the most about this? Where can I go from here with this obsession? Why am I obsessed with this? Those are the kinds of questions that you want to ask yourself when you are following your passions or your obsessions to find ideas that will jumpstart your creative process. The second tip is to not limit your creativity. Now we all have the inner critic voice, especially when we're writing. It's the little voice, you know, the little guy that sits on your shoulder and says, this is dumb, no one's ever going to read this, why don't you write about something else, etc, etc. Okay, well brainstorming is not a good time for that voice. This is not the time to be critical of yourself. Being critical of yourself is the number one way to limit creativity. So just imagine you take the little critic voice and you just put him over here for a second and then continue brainstorming. And just let your brainstorming take you wherever you want to go. What do you want to write about most? And don't worry about what other people are going to think, if it's been done before, First of all, everything's been done before, so you really shouldn't worry about that. You know, is this original enough? Don't worry about your audience at this point, or how you're going to market this book, or, you know, is this the kind of thing a publisher wants? No, at this stage of brainstorming, when you're just forming your ideas and figuring out your project, you don't want to worry about anything except, what do I want to write about? What is the story that I want to tell? What's the story that I'm going to enjoy telling the most? So you just want to let yourself be creative, be imaginative, don't question yourself. If you have an idea like, and then a spaceship comes out of nowhere and starts shooting ice cream at dolphins, I mean, part of you might think that's really dumb, but you should just shut up that voice and go with it. Hey, ice cream and dolphins? Sounds like a Spongebob movie. So anyway, just let the ideas come and don't try to limit them. And the third tip is to find the brainstorming method that works for you. There are a lot of different ways that people like to brainstorm. You can make lists. You can make a little mind map where you might draw like one word or one sentence in a cloud and then connected to a cloud over here that has a word or a sentence or, you know, do a more visual demonstration of your ideas. That really works for some people. You might want to get really visual and do some little illustrations or have a big whiteboard where you kind of literally can see your brainstorming process. That really works well for some people. You might want to cut out a bunch of pictures or print out a bunch of pictures from the internet of things that you want to write about and maybe like rearrange them on the floor and see if that helps you in any way. Some people like to use index cards 
You might want to write a bunch of ideas on index cards and scatter them about or put them in a box and pull them out. I don't know. Shuffle them up. You could do a lot of different things. Some people are really better with speaking than they are with writing, so they might want to grab a phone and hit their voice recorder and just talk about the different ideas that they have. Or have a brainstorming meeting with a writer friend where you can both just kind of bounce ideas off of each other. The point is there are a lot of different ways that you can try brainstorming. Maybe you want to try some different methods and see which one works for you the best. If you've never tried a more visual approach, for example, and you've only ever made lists, that's fine. That might be working well for you. And if it is, you know, don't feel like you need to change. But if you kind of get stuck with that, maybe you want to try something more visual. The most important thing to keep in mind is the brainstorming part of the process should be fun and creative. This is the part where there are no limits, where anything is possible, where you could write about anything. And that should feel pretty liberating. Alright, that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these tips about writing. I'm going to have another video for you next week and I'm going to be talking about the benefits of keeping a journal. You can also join my mailing list, The Daily Writer, if you want to receive daily writing inspiration. I'll leave a link to that down below. And let me know what you think down below. What are the best ways of brainstorming for you? What have you found that works most effectively? Do you spend much time in the brainstorming phase or do you just kind of sit down and start writing? Some people do it that way. Which is fine too, there's no wrong way to approach the writing process. Alright, that's it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching! Mm -hmm.